Sports. Big, 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 big. Rated E for everyone. Hey everybody, Linda AK The Gamer Girl here, and so I'm going to respond to J Love's awesome collab that she did a while back. So we're going to do top two sports games, and we're going to jump right into number two. So number two is RBI Baseball 94. I This was one of my first baseball games that I ever played. I had it for my Game Gear, and I remember popping this in and just playing hours and hours and hours of just this, like, all the simplicity of it. The fact that it had many, many of the teams you could play, you know, and not have to worry about. The names were not there and everything like that. And this was one of the first in the franchise that I got into. I liked the layout on the Game Gear, how it showed you two boxes, two squares of everything and you saw the, the players moving and inching forward and trying to steal and everything like that. And I liked how the, the pitching system was and the batting system was on the Game Gear. And what's really sad is to see that the RBI Baseball is not what it used to be. Nobody really talks about it anymore and it's kind of faded away. I remember it actually was a competitor at one time to any of the other baseball games. I remember seeing it on the shelves right next to each other and it was one of those it you could not go away and not see baseball with RBI and all the other ones. Now, I do like it so much. I still play it to this day. And I remember back in the day when I used to play it hardcore waiting for, you know, class in between. I would dream about this game to the point where I would see the field and I would see the players and I still remember how they ran in the game gear. <laughs> It was really funny how they had the animation for the running and everything like that. So that was my number two. So my number one is kind of a play off of NBA Jam, like J-Love. I love NBA Jam, but there's one game that kind of stood out to me more than NBA Jam, and that is NBA Street. It is kind of like NBA Jam. You have three ballers, and basically it's street rules where you have... You can foul all you want, and you can have multiple shots as long as the shot is goes in, it's good. And I loved how they had the NBA players, but they were not in the regular, you know, uniforms. They were in their street clothes <laughs> playing, and I loved the animations of the game. I loved the format. I loved that you can get new players and keep going and work on it and get everything going to build up your team and make everything all better. I liked that at the time you had not just, you know, the professional players, you had Michael Jordan, you had, you know, all the really crazy, it, it was weird, like, to see all the legendary players with their own group of like characters and each one had their own strength and weakness and the one thing I liked was the times that you had the the professional players they were not overly better than your regular characters they were still good but they were not you know exaggerated that's one thing I liked about this game was is they were exaggerated in their in their mannerisms and stuff like that but when it came to actual skills, they were pretty much set to, you know, balance it out. It wasn't like, you know, the Bears or the Oakland Raiders and you had one character who could just, like, dominate everybody and go crazy. And that's why I like this game. So, guys, that was my top two sports games for my list. Thank you for watching. I'm going to put a link in the description below for JLo's original video. Fair warning, there is a part with Mega Dan that he blasts your ears really bad, so don't listen with headphones. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please hit the sub button. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. Catch you in the next video. Linda the Gamer Girl, she's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl, she's here, she's playing games too.